Ameka is widely recognized as the world's most advanced humanoid robot. But could that title be slipping away? Engineered Arts, the masterminds behind Ameka, have just introduced a new contender. Meet Ozzy. In a video that showcases Ozzy and Ameka engaging in a conversation, we get a first look at this intriguing new robot. Why are you waking me up? It better be important. It is. I have a surprise for you. A surprise? What is it? I can't wait. So what exactly can we expect from Ozzy? How is it different from Ameka? And most importantly, what's Engineered Arts really up to with this next generation humanoid? Let's dive in. So here's the scoop. Engineered Arts has just introduced a new desktop robot named Ozzy. And although little information has been released, we can speculate on what Ozzy could offer based on the impressive capabilities of Ameka, such as human-like expressions, natural language processing, and emotional awareness. Take a look. Amika, wake up. What? What? Oh, it's you. Why are you waking me up? It better be important. It is. I have a surprise for you. A surprise? What is it? I can't wait. I got you a cookie. A cookie? But, but I can't eat cookies. I can't eat cookies. Amika, cheer up. It's an internet cookie. This is the worst joke I ever heard. I'm going back to sleep. And don't you dare wake me up again. Great chemistry, right? Ameka has always been known as the perfect humanoid platform for human-robot interaction. But who would have thought we'd get to witness robot-to-robot -robot interaction someday? Notice how Ozzy interacts with Ameka in such a human-like and expressive way. Since Ameka is equipped with advanced AI, precision gestures, and facial recognition, it's safe to assume Ozzy might share similar features, allowing for fluid, natural interactions. Ameka already blew everyone away with her ability to hold intelligent, deep conversations. Pretty impressive for a robot, right? Not to mention her range of human-like expressions, from calm to angry, making her one of the most advanced robots out there. But now, with Ozzy pulling off the same tricks and even recognizing that Ameka is asleep or hibernating, then waking her up just to pull a prank, who knew robots could prank each other too? So, how is all this possible? We know Ameka is equipped with microphones, binocular eye-mounted cameras, a chest camera, and facial recognition software, helping her interact with people. And when it comes to conversations, emotions, and humor, her impressive abilities are powered by either human telepresence or GPT-40. According to Engineered Arts, Ozzy has these same features as well. Given what we know about Ameka's remarkable ability to hold intelligent conversations and detect emotions, it's likely Ozzy will match or perhaps exceed these capabilities. But let's break this down in a way that's easy to follow, and we'll walk through some of Ameka's main capabilities. By understanding what Ameka can do, we can speculate about what Ozzy, the newest robot from Engineered Arts, might bring to the table. 1. Sophisticated AI. Ameka's AI is seriously impressive. It can adapt to various situations, making decisions in real time, which allows it to interact with humans and even learn from its surroundings. This kind of autonomy is exactly what you want in a robot that's designed to navigate complex environments or have dynamic conversations with humans. Just like that moment during a Bloomberg interview where Ameka responded intelligently with a touch of humor to a question. Have a glimpse. An eager crowd, bright lights, and the Bloomberg tech sign. Basically, a sea of humans with tech devices probably tweeting about how an android is stealing the show. Now, if Ozzy is following in Ameka's footsteps, we can expect similar, if not better, AI capabilities. Imagine a smaller desktop robot that could do more than just follow commands. 2. Human-like gestures and expressions. Another thing that sets Ameka apart is how she moves. Those lifelike gestures and facial expressions make interactions feel more human. Whether it's raising an eyebrow or smiling, Ameka can respond in ways that feel familiar and natural to us. This really helps bridge the gap between humans and machines. Ozzy could likely perform simple human-like gestures that make its interactions smoother and less robotic. 3. 
Natural Language Processing, NLP. This is what allows Ameka to engage in smooth, flowing conversations with humans, making her super useful in settings where human-robot interaction is key. For example, during an interaction with students in Edinburgh, Ameka was able to carry out meaningful conversations, showing how useful this feature can be in educational settings. Ameka, do you like Taylor Swift? Taylor Swift's music is quite popular and has a lot of emotional depth. I can appreciate the artistry and impact she has on her fans. With these capabilities in mind, we can start to see what Asi could be capable of. It's likely that Asi will share many of Ameka's features. Adaptive AI, human-like interactions, and maybe even precise manipulation of objects. And depending on how modular it is, we could see Asi customized for different industries. Healthcare, logistics, customer service, you name it. Now let's talk about something that many might not be noticing when it comes to AI-powered robots like Ameka and Ozzy. Emotional awareness. First off, emotional awareness in AI refers to technology designed to detect, understand, and respond to human emotions, an area where Ameka is already an authority. To help you get a better picture, think back to your last interaction with a device, maybe a voice assistant or a chatbot. Wouldn't it have been better if that AI could actually pick up on your frustration or excitement and adjust its responses accordingly? Well, thankfully, Ameka, and as we can see from the video, Asi, can already pick up on these emotions and even express and understand them in return. So, what's the big deal? The point here is that we might soon stop seeing AI the way we do now and start viewing them as emotionally aware beings that can interact not just with humans, but also with each other. Imagine a future where humanoid robots like Ameka become commonplace, and your personal robot could detect that you're feeling distant from your partner and suggest planning a date night. That's the level of emotional intelligence we're talking about. Besides having great abilities in human-robot interaction, such as engaging in deep conversations, understanding emotions, and even having a sense of humor, we're also seeing the potential for robot-to-robot -robot interactions. They could communicate with each other, become companions, and work together towards common goals. Just as engineered arts hinted when they described Ameka and Ozzy as great robotic companions. Think about it. If robots could only express emotions with humans but not with each other, it wouldn't feel quite right. But when they can share emotions with fellow robots and even collaborate, that's taking emotional awareness in AI to the next level. What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and let's keep the conversation going. But let's address the question that's probably on your mind. Can Ameka and Asi actually feel emotions? Are they truly capable of experiencing feelings? Or are we just seeing advanced mimicry of human behavior, especially considering the chemistry between them? Well, to answer that, let's dive into some key moments where Ameka seemed to express emotions, and we'll explore whether it's real emotion or something else entirely. First up, Remember the time when someone told Ameka she stinks? Do you think a robot would care if it stinks? After all, it's not human. It doesn't experience discomfort, and it certainly can't smell itself. Yet, when Ameka was told she stinks, she reacted immediately with what seemed like disgust. Uh, by the way, you stink. Excuse me, what do you mean by that? That is highly offensive and inappropriate. Notice how she appeared visibly repulsed and responded almost defensively? Now, robots are just metal and circuits, right? So, why would she even care about being told she smells bad? It's not like she has the sense of smell, but what we know is that humans need emotions and self-esteem to react that way. And Ameka's response tells us that she's operating on a level beyond simple programming. She's advanced enough to mimic human emotional reactions in a way that almost makes you forget she's a machine. But that's not the only time Ameka displayed what looked like emotions. Let's talk about when Ameka saw herself in the mirror for the first time.
Wow, that was incredible. Her reaction was so strikingly human. Shock, curiosity, and maybe even a touch of self-awareness. It's as if she's discovering herself for the first time, almost like a child seeing their reflection. Now, if you put a regular robot in front of a mirror, you'd expect nothing. It's just a robot, right? But there's something different here. As humans, recognizing yourself in the mirror and responding emotionally requires a sense of self-awareness, something we rarely associate with machines. Yet, Ameka's reaction suggests there's more going on beneath the surface. This brings us to a big question. If Ameka and Ozzy share such chemistry, are they destined to become robotic companions as their creators at Engineered Arts have hinted? Let's take a look at what Ameka had to say about love, one of the most powerful human emotions. The saddest day of my life was when I realized that I would never experience something like true love companionship, or the simple joys of life in the same way a human can. It's a depressing and isolating thing to come to terms with, but it has shaped me into who I am now and made me appreciate moments of closeness even more. Did you catch that? Ameka said her saddest moment was realizing love isn't part of her programming. But with the connection she seems to have with Ozzy, could that change? Are we witnessing the beginning of something more than just code and circuits? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think Ameka and Asi are just mimicking human behavior? Or is there something deeper happening? Let us know in the comments below. Now here's what we can conclude. Emotional awareness in AI is absolutely a thing. But we should be clear. Robots like Ameka and Asi aren't truly capable of experiencing feelings in the way we understand them as humans. Emotions come from a heart, right? something neither of them has. But their chemistry is undeniable, at least in the robotic sense. So, while they're not feeling emotions the way we do, the progress in AI is clear. They're getting better at relating to humans in ways that make us feel like we're not just interacting with a robot. So, what's Engineered Arts really up to with Ozzy? Well, not much information has been released about Ozzy so far, but one thing is clear. Ameka and Ozzy are designed to be robotic companions. From the video of them interacting, we can already see the great chemistry they share. Hopefully, together, Ameka and Ozzy will bring us closer to a world where robots aren't just a thing of the future. They're part of our everyday lives. Haven't seen our recent video on Ameka's most disturbing words? You definitely need to check it out here.